our resort just behind us. It's a lovely morning. It's about six, probably a bit past six in the morning. Sun's coming up over here in the east. We've got a little spirited 38 over there. That's a friend, Trevor. He was up in Thailand with us. Saffron, beautiful little boat. And a few days ago, I did um, a post. I was making some rope loops and um, been testing them out the last few days just to see that everything was working as designed. And I just thought I'd make a little video of it. So I'll walk up forward because we're on this mooring um, and it's a two two sort of um, two line mooring. There's two ropes from the mooring and it can make it a little bit tricky to get on and off. Um, so we're here for a while so I like to pick up the mooring. There's a few moorings here as well for anyone that's interested in coming through this area. There's only a couple I'd pick up but there is a few moorings. If the winds are light um, there's more but if the winds are heavy we're definitely on the best and so is Trevor. We're on the two biggest moorings here. Now you can see I've got going down from the prodder I've got the two halyards on the end of the prodder to support the prodder and then at the end of the prodder I've got a um, I'll zoom in. I've got a little friction ring and then down from that friction ring that's the secondary line that goes to the mooring. Okay so really we've got three lines. We've got this line coming over to the port float bow and then that, that line actually goes all the way down to the mooring to the bottom to the concrete block and then there's this line on the starboard side that also goes all the way to the bottom. Now now, our friend that owns the resort here was very kind and he said to me to make the mooring um, as easy as I could to get on and off. So I'll show you what we did was I made these rope loops and I've attached them here just with a cow hitch around the pad eye on the bow. And uh, you can see I've got this friction tape here. Um, when I've got the bridle on the three strand bridle, sometimes when it dries out it squeaks, it sort of creaks. So I put this friction tape here and I need to replace it. You can see that it's worn out a little bit. But anyway, these rope loops are going to make it super easy for us to get on and off the mooring. And um, while we're here, we're doing a bit of sailing. You know, any friends that come along to the resort, we've um, been sort of trying to go sailing, my sister. So all you've got to do is pull the mooring up and um, there you go, it's released. Yeah, we want to come in and pick the mooring up. What I'll do is I'll attach, I've got a little pink float. I'll attach it to this line. And, uh, and on the other side, I'll attach the dinghy to the other side and I'll release that first. I'll obviously release the side. We like to sail on and off the mooring, so I'll release the side that's going to uh, push the bow out or away from the shore. And I'll tie the dinghy to that side when we go anywhere. And then I'll tie the little pink buoy I've got to the other side. And then that'll be what we pick up. So when we sail in, all we've got to do, all I've got to do is get the, the float bow next to the pink buoy. Someone can be there with the boat hook. They pick this up and then all they've got to do is put that through the rope loop. You can see it works a treat. And I've just done a stop knot in the end there. And uh, we had, we've had a fair bit of breeze the last couple of days. It's been really windy. I had the... Uh, BNG on the other day and I saw about 24-25 knots uh, in the gusts. Yeah, so this works really well. And, um, and there's always weight from the mooring so it'll always be uh, it'll always be a close loop there. And also I've got the secondary line. I'm not going anywhere. I'm always around so I'm not really phased. Uh, I know it's not you know, 100% secure, but if I'm going to go anywhere, I can always pull this up and do a cow hitch, the same as I've done there. I can, I'll try and show you what I mean. I'm trying to hold the camera here. Okay, so I can always do a cow hitch, so I can pull the loop up like this. Put the knot through the cow hitch. So if I'm going to go away, this is what I'll do. And then that'll secure it like that. 
But if I'm just sailing, you can see, if I'm just sailing around or if I'm on board, I'm just going to put it through the soft loop. Like such. Yeah, so that's our simple method of getting on and off the mooring. Um, it's a great solution for us for where we are at the moment. So the spirit's all nice and clean. We've had a lot of rain these last few days, just in the mornings. Just some light showers and it's really cleaned the boat up, which is fantastic. All the covers and the nets and everything's had a really good wash. It's really nice. See where it's a great little spot here. The little laser dinghy over there that we've been using to teach Luciano, the owner of the resort, how to sail. And I don't know if you can hear it, but the, the sound of all the birds coming alive and it's beautiful. Such a lovely spot. So nice to wake up here. It's so peaceful.